Yeah, I decided to sleep. I like I like the satin black one. This is day two of the wrap install. I'm not feeling too hot this morning. I'm feeling a little bit sluggish, a little bit slow. Poop. I've already pooped, Cal. Alright, never mind. I'm feeling, I'm feeling sluggish, I'm feeling a little bit slow. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, go watch yesterday's video. I think you can tell. If you don't know, long story short, I got pranked by a premium pretty fucking hard. And I was like on edge for the rest of the whole entire day. Like, I shit you not. I was like really like tense and on edge the whole day. I, I don't know, I got like a weird night sleep. Being a bitch, I know that, but it's a slow move and start for today. The premium's getting going on the car. Our friend Rob is coming by today, so I'm excited to see him. And we're shooting another podcast, which is one of my favorite things to do right now. If you don't know about our podcast, you should fucking subscribe to our podcast channel. I do. I'm excited. So an issue that we're finding is with this door, and it's pretty much this car in general. The clear coat is gone to shit. And what side were you guys wrapping first? Where you like pulled it up and like the clear? Is that on the fender? Yeah, it was the uh, the driver fender. Yeah. Clear coat right here. You can see it actually. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. Mm -hmm. Just. Yeah. But at least with this one, you're yeah, going to cover the whole thing. Yeah, this thing. fender's fine because we're going to have the over fender on top of it, so it's all going to be covered anyway. But the door started taking off the clear coat, which that's the pain of the car. Pretty much have to sand all of it down. They had the door done, took it off the door, sanding it, and then putting it back on top, which sucks. But on the top, we did satin black, not gloss black. I think the only gloss black and gloss colors we're going to have is on the second half of the car, where all like the design's going to be. This podcast between me and Calvin and Rob will be up on Sunday. So if you want to see it Sunday, all of our podcasts go live. Podcast with Rob done. Really good up this Sunday. You guys just chilling watching movies in here? Yeah. Can I turn it up now? Yeah, you're good. You can turn everything up now. Right, let's get an update on the car. So what, is it just the bumpers are left? Yeah, bumpers. And you Oh, and the pillars. Me and Tyler can try and wrap the pillar if you have spare material. Really? It looks so mean though. It looks really good. I'm going over the car at this point and just making my holes punctured that I've already made before because I'm going to be mounting the kit just to get an idea of what it looks like. Which is kind of scary because sometimes I can't see it and I think I'm poking something that's not there. It's, it's a little, it's a little nerve wracking. Then there's one right. Oh, see, I just poked something that wasn't there. Rip. Again, it doesn't look as good as it should because it doesn't have the angle kit, or it doesn't have the spaces on the car. But even just with this angle kit, it pushes the wheel out so much farther than the rear. And what I'm now worried about is for one, I absolutely need to recut probably this. I need to trim this down, which is gonna be tricky because I really don't wanna mess up this wrap. And then I definitely need to cut more of this off and I need to trim the front bumper when that finally goes on. But I still have a lot more work to do. If you didn't hear it in the last video, AutoCon, March 26th, it's in the LA Convention Center. I'm gonna be there with pretty much everybody and I'm gonna be revealing the 350 at the show. And we're gonna be doing a pop-up shop with Hunt Company, so a bunch of pre-release of the mid-season drop, like I think the lanyards and a couple shirts that currently sold out is all gonna be at my booth. Also, we're doing stage time. So if you're in the LA area or even in like the California area, AutoCon LA. Also, you can use the code meet and greet. I think it saves you like 10 bucks on your access ticket. So be sure to come down to that. It's gonna be a crazy event and I wanna hang out with you guys. So I'm expecting to see you guys there. Some real talk right here. If you're one of those fucking people who comments every video, you fucking ruin all your cars, you did this, you did that. Do yourself a favor and fucking leave. Walk yourself out of this channel and don't ever come back. And everyone who always supports in the comments and tries to tell them to shut the fuck up, I appreciate that. I try to make my cars unique to myself and do everything myself and going crazy ass colors like this or going a crazy color in the BRZ or going a, a bagging the GTR. Everybody wants the most simple basic build and they want the most conservative things that they see every single time and 
I'm not gonna be basic. I don't wanna do that. That's just, that's boring and it, it's, you see the same shit everywhere. And trying to stretch what is the norm. So that's what we're doing here. And if you don't like it, then fucking leave. Tyler and I just finished putting back this interior panel and we're finally just cleaning up the interior because the only thing left that I need to do on the car is put back the other side of the panel, put back the side skirts, and I still need to adjust the front uh, the front angle kick on the car. We didn't bolt down everything all the way. Some stuff's kind of loose. And I want to put some anti-seize on uh, the threads. I fucking miss this car. That sounds so good. God, it sounds so good. It's spraying like condensation everywhere too. Sounds so mean. I have to be really careful when you turning up here because the angle kit, like, when I turn, I scrub everything. There's like rust water and shit. Look at the on the wall. I know. <laughs> Does it look mean? Yeah, that's fucked. Sam, you got ass water on the fucking ground, bruh. Oh, yeah, ass water! <laughs> Get those angles. Dude, this thing looks fucking mean. Fuck. Cleaning up the ass water. The brown puddle. Dude, ew. Yeah, the inside of the exhaust is like rusting a little bit. So <laughs> just, like, just a tad. Yeah, it gets fucked. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is pretty much tighten up my end links, go over everything and tighten everything down because I, everything's pretty much a little more than hand tight. And then at that point, I think I'm gonna call for a try. It's already 10.20. It's just me and Tyler. Everyone else has already gone home and we're beat dead tired. couldn't help but go out and drive it with the angle kit. So I'm not rubbing yet, but I know that once we put these 50 mil spacers, I'll probably be, be rubbing on the inside. And at that point, I'll have to cut more away. But holy shit, that was my, like my first time just like touching with the, uh, with a uh, line with angle kit. The car desperately needs an alignment. That's for sure, I can definitely feel that. But you can feel the whole entire road on a different level now, because there's no bushings, there's nothing. It's just like straight up. Just everything's super solid metal. So, and also too, I was able to like, stay really tight when we were on the corner, which I can just fucking only imagine what that's gonna be like on a track. Huge difference. I had to go out one time while the car was, the car was like somewhat ready. But brothers, thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Peace out and keep moving forward. I do it for the video. I do it for the video. No. Alright, Calvin. No. Imagine I'm Emily. No. Hi. I did. Hey, Calvin. Hey, good. Oh, God. I was kidding, man. Oh. I was kidding. There is no sippy action going on in this car. Real quick, I wanted to ask anyone who's good with doing like computer outros and video outros and whatnot. I'm gonna be changing the outro um, to something more updated so it doesn't show two videos. Um, so I'll pretty much. I'm looking for something with like a black screen or or an image or something, a, a, some 
cool image in the background picture or whatever with two like video slots where I can like put in a video with the YouTube editor and also um, a song to go with it. If anyone knows the song that's currently on there, uh, if you could like make it and use that song or maybe even throw in a new song, I don't even know because I didn't make that outro. I usually use outros that you guys make for me. Um, but I'm going with a new updated outro. If you know what I'm talking about, you see it at the end of a lot of other people's videos that has a, it's like an outro card now. Um, anyways, if anyone can make me that, that'd be fucking mad. You can send it to my email or you can send it to me on Twitter or message, message it to me. Thank you bros, I will see you tomorrow.